Hello and welcome to Watch Game In. Today I am reviewing Go Song, developed by Old Moon and published by Humble Games. Go Song is an excellent 2D platformer Metroidvania with a haunting atmosphere and impressive visual style that takes place on a desolate moon, Lorien, whose surface is littered with the wrecks of crashed spacecrafts due to some mysterious static around its atmosphere, and where infestation and decay are widespread. You control a dead suit. which seems like a humanoid armored entity who wakes up on the surface of Lorien with no memory of who she is how she got here and what she should be doing confused and totally lost you explore the far depths of the moon fighting variety of monsters to discover the secrets of your identity and the moon's history during your journey while you search for answers you meet the survivors of a crashed ship and decide to help them salvage parts of other wrecks so it can be repaired and ultimately be able to escape the moon this is your primary goal apart from the main story each character has a story to explore as well the moon's atmosphere is bleak at the surface but is blooming with life underneath dead suit attacks with her main blaster which can attack at various angles up to 360 degrees You also gain secondary weapons like missile and a shotgun all of which requires energy. Energy recharges over time allowing you to use these weapons as much as you want. You also have melee attacks and various equipable weapons with multiple speed and ranges. Guns and melee weapons work in synergy. For instance, consistently firing with your primary weapon will cause it to overheat and will slow down your attack rate and will take time to cool down. Meanwhile, switching to your melee weapon while your gun is overheated boosts your melee attack by doing more damage than it would normally do. This makes the combat more synergistic, letting you rely on your various gun for burst damage and then switch to melee weapons while your guns are overheated to give melee attacks a major damage boost, almost doubling it. Therefore, finding the right balance between your range and melee weapons is essential. Killing enemies will grant you nano cells. These can be used to increase your stats like health, energy, stamina, and various attack damages but also increases your power capacity. Then you got modules that are equipable parts upgrading which grants a variety of passive effects. For example, one displays enemy health, few slows down build up of heat in your guns, give you new secondary weapons like rockets or auto turrets. or grant new abilities like double jump and dash all of which feels smooth and natural to control there are variety of impacts but all cost spark capacity even your secondary weapons costs capacity however regardless of what stats you choose to increase power capacity will always increase in ghost song when you die you drop all nano cells at the spot of your death when you respawn your max health will also decrease until you find a repair point As you progress, you will find enemies to be stronger even in the areas you have visited before. You may choose to avoid fighting them unlike the bosses you fought for your story progressions, but defeating them would grant you certain modules which might be helpful to explore deeper in your quest to find answers. Exploration is an important part of the game due to its Metroidvania approach. As you explore, you will gain new abilities and not only movement abilities but also some weapons will get you further into the moon in your quest to find answers the world you explore is equally beautiful and terrifying you would experience ambient sounds vivid colors expressive musics enemies that can blend into the environment and strange and gorgeous life forms dug deep into the earth ghost song takes inspiration from hollow knight for its beautifully hand drawn environment The vast majority of the story is revealed by simply paying attention to the context and exploring various places and the rest by communicating with the survivors and other sentient life that you will come across in your adventure. Ghost Song has multiple endings depending on few factors from assisting the crew to exploring depths of the moon, communicating with survivors and other sentient life forms as you search for answers. So that was my brief review for Ghost Song. I think it's an amazing Metroidvania which packs a lot of engaging story and mechanics into its relatively small scope 
and by that I mean the whole gameplay would last about 11 and a half hours but all packed with deeply intriguing storyline with multiple endings along with its beautifully terrifying world is totally worth it. Let me know if you found this review helpful or any suggestions that could help me make better reviews for you and also mention in the comment if you have tried this game and your experience with it. Also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you again soon with more content.